I'm Krishna. I'm having 10 years of industrial experience working for a global MNCs as a lead cloud engineer and database architect. Also, I'm having a four years of experience in a corporate training. Hello, tech enthusiastics. Welcome back to KSR Data Vision at Tech. Or if you are new here, a big welcome to you. Today, we are diving into an exciting world of new feature of a snowflake. So grab your favorite beverage, buckle up, and let's embark on this tech adventure together. So the topic we're going to discuss today is on a pre-signed URL. So a lot of people would have been already heard what is a pre-signed URL, which is being provided by an AWS. So what is it? Let's try to understand what is this pre-signed URL means. And then we will go what is what to do with this pre-signed URL in a snowflake. Okay. So pre-signed URL are used to provide a short-term access to the private object in your AWS S3 bucket. So this is being introduced by an AWS. Here, what is the mean of this pre-signed URL? If you want to give access, example, like there is a, some data available with you in a cloud, your manager is asking that metrics to be accessed for a certain time. Probably he wants to download it and uh, he, ha he has to go through it to understand something and take an informed decisions. In that case, you have to give an access for a certain time. Example, I would say next 10 minutes. Okay. So your manager doesn't have an any account. He don't know how to log in into a cloud. He don't know anything on a technical aspect. All he needs is a simple Excel file. You have to give an access to him so that he can download and whatever the metrics he can able to write it probably is in an Excel guy. He wants to write it over an Excel. So this pre-signed URL will help you to give that kind of access for in a short time. OK, so very easy to give it right. So you don't need to bring an access to him to log in here and you don't need to educate him that how you need to log in there and how you need to get access all this stuff. OK, so this is something everyone knows. At least a lot of people knows what is a pre-signed URL which is being given by an AWS. OK, so what AWS does, AWS, whenever you have a file in your bucket, you just need to give a pre-signed URL information and how much time you want to give an access to that particular one. So by giving this all information to that particular file, it will generate a one HTTP request API for us. And that API information we will be sending to a manager where he can able to put it on your screen and click it so he can able to download it or he can able to view the data for the certain time what you are being given to that particular file okay so what cases what is the benefit out of it right so what one benefit is you don't need to educate the person who is the consumer of that file so you don't need to educate him how to log in or understand the how the cloud works you don't need to do anything of this one and very simple to create this one so you don't need to have any complex logics or you don't need to write anything all we need to do is we need to select a few options it's a one off right majorly we will be giving it as in a one off or probably for a 10 minutes access we are going to give it it's not always 10 minutes you can give it for a 24 hours you can give it for a two hours or three years based on the request they are going to request you okay and this is going to happen occasionally it's not like every day you are going to do it or every five minutes you are going to do it right your manager might comes to you asking once in a month saying that okay let's see um why can't you just give me this file for me for you know another 10 minutes i'll download that file and after that i'll work on that particular file i don't know anything of a cloud or i don't know about anything of a databases to write a sql statements to perform this kind of analytics right so occasionally if you want to share any private files this pre-signed url is going to be in a highly secured and is going to be useful very useful for a short term period right so this would have been a lot of people has been heard now but the similar feature has been generated or been providing by a snowflake now okay that means example you have some data in your snowflake OK, so let me give you an, an example. So let's take like this. OK, there is a data available in your table. OK, so uh, there is a location wise information is been available in your table. Your manager been asking you saying that. Let's see. I want some data which belongs to this particular location. OK, I don't have an access to Snowflake. OK, I don't know how to download the data also. OK, so but somehow I need the data to be available. So how can I give an, an access to that guy? OK, so how can you do that? In that cases, yes, there is an, an external account can be created for him that we have discussed in our previous 
classes. Okay. In previous short videos also, we have done how the consumer account and the reader accounts can be created. So you can create a reader account, but the one prerequisite while you're creating a reader account is the other side person also should know how to interact with the snowflake and how you can able to write the sequels on top of it. Right. So here what I do is here it is something which is you are creating a small file or if you already having that particular file, what you can do is you can just land it onto your any stages, snowflake stages. And on top of that stages, you can create a pre-signed URL that is for next one hour or next 15 minutes or next 30 minutes. As soon as the 30 minutes or 20 minutes is completed, that signed URL will get expired so that no one can able to access it. OK, so how we will see in both in AWS and in Snowflake, how can we create this pre-signed URLs? OK, so let's jump on to a demo. First, what we will do is we will see how can we create it in the AWS. OK, so I'm going here. So I'm creating a bucket with all the default values. Let's have it. So this is for a demo, right? So let's call it as AWS pre-signed URL. OK, bucket 2023. OK, I'm selecting it as an MM by rest everything. I'm leaving it as a as is default values. OK, I'm creating a bucket. I let me zoom in a bit. OK, so pre signed URL is being created. Uh, sorry, pre signed bucket is being created now. So what I'll do is I'll upload the file inside this and we will be accessing it for the next 10 minutes or something. We will put it. OK, I'm adding in a file. OK, so let's go here. OK, I have a zip code file. OK, I'm uploading a zip code file now. Oh, good. We have the zip code file. We'll go inside a bucket and see the file is being uploaded for us. Okay. So I'm selecting the file in an actions. I'm going to create an, a pre signed URL. So directly we have an option in AWS. You can create like this. Okay. From a UI. So now here, how many minutes it is asking me how many minutes you want to give an access to an external person. So I will say probably next one minute I need to give an, an access. Okay. So create a pre signed URL. So once he created a pre-signed URL, so the pre-signed URL has been created. I'm copying it. Let's check out how it will be. OK, so check this. There is a URL got created for it. OK, so I'll take this URL. I'll go here. OK, I'm clicking this. OK, so now you see the file got downloaded for me. OK, we'll come back to this URL in another few seconds and we will see what the error it will be throwing for us. OK, because we have given access only for a one minute. OK, how simple it is, right? So now what I have done, there is a file is already available. So to this file, my manager needs an, an access. So what I did is I quickly created a pre signed URL for a one minute access and then I just given that URL information. What is that URL information? You can see this is the URL information. So once I given this information, he will just go here and click on this one and he will paste it here and he will get an access to that file. OK, so once the file is available, he will do after a one minute automatically the access to that link he should be go off. OK, let's quickly check if it has been gone off. OK, or else let's give a few more seconds to it. OK, before that, let's go on to a Snowflake. How can we create it? OK, in Snowflake account. So we have done a short videos on this, how to create the Snowflake accounts, how you can able to learn a many topics we have covered. So I hope you guys are covered that. OK, quickly I'm going to this data. OK, in this one I have a one small schema here that's called as in a KSR data vision. OK, a small database inside that I have a schema. So let's create a one schema here. OK, so inside this I'll create a schema the schema name. Let's put it as pre signed URL. OK, let's put it as pre signed URL learning. OK, and I'm creating a schema. OK, pardon the spelling over here and then we want to create a stage. So what I have been mentioned there, I mentioned that in Snowflake, the feature needs, the pre signed URL feature needs is where exactly the file is located. That means in which stage the file is located. OK, so I'm creating a stage. I'll go with an Snowflake managed or you can go with this one externals also. But now just to know that the feature how it's working. So we, let's go here. So I'm saying that this name is also a OK short term data provider. OK, so I'm just creating like this rest everything I'm keeping as is. OK, the stage got created for me now. Let's add the same file. OK, so I'm accessing the same file. So zip code. OK, I will add this file now. 
Okay. Now you see the file is also available for us. The file just got loaded. So I'll just go to one worksheet and let's check there. Okay. So I'm going on to the SQL worksheet. Okay. Selecting the database is the case or data vision and schema is this is this is the schema we just created, right? So what are the stages we have? So let's go inside this one and check this stage. Okay, under stages we have a stage. Okay, so let's put it on this one. So let's check that how many files are there. Okay, so this commands all will be discussed at the stages video. Okay, we have done already that you can see in our list. You can learn about stages. Okay, I'm checking if there are any files are available for me in this stage. Okay, there is no stages files. It is saying unexpected case or data vision. Let me take it out and just put this at the rate. Okay, you have to add at the rate for the stages. Okay, yeah, there is a file called as a zip code.csv is available. Okay, so before we generating the you know a pre signed URL for this one, let's check out that AWS link which is working for us or not. Okay, this is the link. The one minute is gone. So I'm just clicking this one. It said that the one minute request has been expired for us. Okay. This is expired for us now because the one minute is already completed. So the whatever the expiration time you have given for this that got expired for us. Okay. This is how AWS pre-signed URL will work. Okay. So how can we generate the URL pre-signed URL in a snowflake? Okay. So what we have discussed pre-signed URL when I was saying. So you have to give a which stage the file is there and what is the file name. OK, so let's write the query. So select OK, the function which has been already written by a snowflake and they are giving it as in a just a function utility for you. You can directly use it. What is that is get underscore pre signed. So you see there is a pre signed URL. They are saying generates the pre signed URL to the stage file using the stage name and relative file path as an inputs. OK, you can go to docs and you can read also if you want to read more about it. OK, so this is how we need to give it and expiration time. OK, so now I'm selecting this inside this. What is the your stage name? What is the stage name we have here? The stage name here it is short term data provider. OK, so as I have already selected the user name, the database and the schema here, I'm just giving directly the stage name because it points there. OK, and what is the file name we have here? The file name we have here it is zip code.csv. Okay. Zip code.csv. Okay. You can give the full path also. Okay. And then how many seconds you want to give an access? I want to give an access for a 60 seconds. Okay. And then I'm going to generate the URL for this particular file, which is available in a snowflake. Okay. So I'm running this in seconds is invalid must be between zero to this one. Okay. So let's say that you have to give only numbers directly, not as a string. It's an integer. Okay. So it is created file for us. Now what I'll do is I will select this R open in a new window. Okay. So now it's see automatically downloaded now. So just you see it is downloaded for me now. Okay. So this link is also working for me to download the zip code information. What we will do is after 60 seconds, we will come back here. OK, so it's whenever I click it, it will keep downloading because it is still active for the how many seconds it is been given over here. OK, so we will come back to that one and we will check it. OK, so that's how you can able to create a pre signed URLs and you can give a short term access to your whoever needs it, who doesn't have an, an account. This is very easy, right? So it's within a fraction of seconds. You can able to create this. I can you can give them access and as as soon as you are the time frame you have given here is expired. That particular person will not able to access that particular file. OK, so this is how you can give a short term access. OK, it's one nice feature being introduced by R. It's been I could say it's been adopted from the AWS, but we can have it on a Snowflake, right? So no other databases. We have this kind of feature right now on premises. Definitely not. So on a cloud level, so Snowflake is the first first you know area where we have it. Probably usually in the future, some other databases also get it. Snowflake has a lot of other features like this. So keep continuing looking at this space. We will be delivering this kind of short videos a lot. So this will help you to uh, you know crack the interviews and you can do your bet better things in your when you are in your work area as well. Okay, so to that note, we have a KSR data vision running in a, 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 a snowflake training here. 
which is currently the batches are also running and the new batches are also going on so anybody interested to ramp up your skills upskill your knowledge area on a cloud level so we are carrying an inter, uh, no trainings here and an interview mock interviews and many other over here so the snowflake batch is going on a technical terms as a sql aws and snowflake and dbt is also is running so anybody is interested can contact this numbers okay i hope this short video provided some knowledge on a snowflake and how the pre-signed url works okay keep enhancing your skills thank you so much for watching this video